So we're gonna start this by going to a church made of bones. Classic Ann and Jeff. There are 60,000 dead people around me. It's literally a $19 a night Airbnb. We made it to Oktoberfest, it's so fun. Hi, I'm currently terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The feeling of freedom is real, guys. This is what happens when you Google nothing. You're surprised by everything. <laughs> Welcome to What Doesn't Suck. This is our great European road trip. How's my Italian though? It's, uh, you know, there's work to be done there. <laughs> How's my French? Oh, muo terrible. <laughs> I cannot believe little towns like this exist. Benvenuto to Italia. We are on the way to Venice and there was no way we would not stop at the Dolomites. We were staying at this teeny town with only 400 inhabitants. We found this incredibly cute apartment for only 50 euros a night. An area of Italy we never would have gotten to without a car. Andiamo! We have heard from so many people that the Dolomites was an absolute must go. There's literally no one around us. You like my glasses? Pretty stylish, huh? The best thing about being a stupid American is that everything is brand new. I had never heard of the Dolomites in my life. This is some of the most beautiful hiking we have ever done. Unfortunately, every time I've been to Europe, I always just stay in a city center, fly in, fly out. But now we have the chance to explore some of this incredible, incredible scenery. I never knew Northern Italy had so much incredible nature. The Dolomites are so amazing, but the pizza and pasta are calling our names. We have to get to Venice! I'm digging Italian mountain life, love. Yeah, it's great. Very relaxed. It's Very down to earth. We have made it to beautiful Venice, Italy. Or should we you say guys. Venezia, Italia? She's Italian now, don't worry about it. studiate Italian per sette anni a scuola. I'm so uncomfortable. But I can't speak it anymore. I was born and brought up in South of France, right next to Italy, and I have actually never been to Venice. They know what we want, love. Pizza, pasta. Pizza, pasta. Le dottore della festa con il bacon nostro. Great. Backpack life. <laughs> One of the coolest things about Venice is that there's obviously no cars, no buses, no trucks. It's just silent. It's not even sunny out, and she's still trying to buy sunglasses. One day in Italy, all that hiking out the window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the best thing. I think this goal is go down small alleys, take cute pictures of boats, and stuff our face. <laughs> whatever you can. Well, gang, if you want to go on a gondola, it is 80 euros for 30 minutes. So we will not be doing that. <laughs> but that is enough to pay for three nights in a crappy Airbnb. <laughs> Venice is one of the most popular cities on the entire planet. Whatever you do, try to avoid the tourists, but I don't even think that's possible. And it might be raining, but it's still so beautiful around. I'm so happy we got to be here. I think we ate pretty much all the pizza and pasta in Italy, so now it's time to see something new. It's time to go check out a country right next door that we have never been to. When people say, oh, you can get lost in Venice for hours, they mean it. I don't know how we're gonna get out of here. No idea where we are. Road trip tip number five. This is more for budget travelers like us. You don't need to eat out every meal. We rent on Airbnb most of the time and we use the kitchen and that's, you know, that's so important. It saves us a lot of money. I cannot believe that we've driven only an hour and a half from Venice to this incredibly cute little town, Trieste, Italy. We've already put 2,000 kilometers on this beast. Two more countries as we wind our way all the way down the coast of Slovenia and Croatia. But before we head into Slovenia, we have to stuff our face one more time. This is like my dream. There's ham and cheese and tomato and some kind of bread that's new, that's cool. Really huh? This is one of my dreams of made <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> we need to get out of this country before we eat anything else. That's where I'm getting fat. This is a disaster. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome to Slovenia, gang! Look at this church behind us! We just found Lake Bled, you guys. This place is absolutely incredible. Our 37th country together. We're super excited to spend a couple days exploring Slovenia and see what we can do in Ljubljana. Ljubljana. The only capital city that forgot the vowels. <laughs> That's my wife, you guys. That's my wife. <laughs> It's so beautiful. There's a reflection on the lake and there's this little island with a church on it. The only island in the entire country of Slovenia. Look at this cool guy. Oh, hey guys. It is the beginning of October and you can tell that the leaves are getting really folly and like orangey. Folly? <laughs> folly, yeah. <laughs> Working off one ball of pasta, one slice of pizza at a time. We just hiked the 20 minute 600 meter path up called Ostrika to get to the best view of Lake Blade, which is just behind me. Jeffrey is taking pictures as usual. That is definitely one of the first places we have been that looks exactly like the postcards. There are some places in the world that when you visit, it does not matter how many other people are there because they're so beautiful. I think there's really something to be said about being able to take in, you know, a scenery. We are the first one to be guilty of that. And of course we love to film because we love to do these videos for you guys, but we're really trying to enjoy the moment. And I think it's so, so important. This is only a couple hours from Venice and yet not enough people come and visit, which is part of what makes it so special. Everyone in Slovenia has been so kind and welcoming and everybody speaks English. We have gotten so lucky with this incredible weather, you guys. We're gonna go explore this gorge. We've been Googling images of these Slovenia national parks for months. The water is really clear as well, so at least Jeff would be reassured there's no monsters in here left, don't worry about it. I have never seen water as clear as we have in Slovenia. Every lake, pond, stream, you can see the bottom, you can see all the fishies. Are you reassured there's no monsters? No, definitely still monsters, for sure. It's all glacier water, which means if you're thirsty, just take a sip. You guys have told us to come to this gorge and we can thank you enough, this is absolutely beautiful. We miss being around the greenery so much. <sighs> pretty gorgeous around here. She's picking up on my bad jokes, guys. I'm really sorry. Every Friday in October, there's a food festival in Ljubljana, so we're super excited to go stuff our faces with local food and try again to work it off tomorrow. We might as well just rename this vlog Hiking and Eating. Budget travel at its best, guys. We spend five euros for parking, five euros for tickets, and spend 10 euros in a whole day. Nailed it. There's this huge marketplace in the center of Ljubljana, Slovenia. It's just so cool. There's so many people around. Let's explore. This meat is gonna be so good. I have no idea what I'm eating, but it's delicious. I am super impressed with Ljubljana, you guys. Incredibly modern, upbeat, classic, cute European city. Tons of friendly crowds. It's amazing. Ice cream rolls, love. Dream. I've never had that before. Let's go to the caves. We spend so much of our time hiking in mountains. Today we're gonna hike in a cave. We're going underground. This is so crazy. I've never gone hiking underground before. It feels like we're in Men in Black. <laughs> you know when the cockroach explodes? So you know how your nightmares are always stuff that you've already seen in your life, right? I'm happy that now I've got new fuel because this was terrifying. It looks like someone's inside. Not only did this cave start forming two million years BC, but it's also the cave with the most species in the entire world with over 400 there are monsters everywhere. Whether it's a rainy day or a sunny day, the Pastojna cave, totally worth it. In Ljubljana. Road trip tip number six. Learn some local customs and some local words. Like when you're in Germany, you can say, Don't Guten Morgen. <laughs> and when you go to Prague, you can say, we need to learn some Czech. Happy to be hiking again, love? Yes. On our way from Ljubljana down to Split, we had to stop in the Kirka, Kirka, Kirka National Park because some of this nature looks absolutely unbelievable. So, I won't lie to you guys, we again forgot to do our research, but we are in a forest. Welcome to the river forest, folks. It's like a river with forests in it, or a forest with rivers in it. We found a forest full of purple gumdrops. I just want to roll around in it. <laughs> this is what happens when you Google nothing. You're surprised by everything.
There's nothing better after long driving than stopping to do a hike like that. Who needs highlighter when you can have a little bit of sweat? Let's make like a banana. And split. <laughs> You know, one of the best things about taking a road trip like this through so many countries is that you connect all these countries in your mind and see how the cultures change from country to country. It feels like a beach town. It's the summer, so different from Slovenia. Fresh seafood, it's nice and warm. This is the last day of our trip, gang, and what are we gonna do today? We're gonna go on the boat. We're, we're gonna go see the Blue Cave, which we've heard is amazing, and I think five other different islands. Hopefully we go snorkeling, hopefully we eat some seafood. Let's go! These Croatian islands are so amazing. They remind me so much of Greece, but they're cheaper and there's less tourists. So win, win, win. That was way cooler than I thought it would be. I mean, you see the pictures, but you don't think it could actually look like that. That's insane. I was so not ready for it. We made it to Hvar, Croatia, and you know what? It wasn't that far away. <laughs> this boat tour is fantastic. We've seen a number of different Croatian islands. Hvar is really beautiful. Little streets and it's so charming and the views man are amazing. Also there's a lot of bakeries in Croatia so I'm quite happy. Anne has never met a bakery she doesn't love. We can also have ice cream in October. That's awesome. You can have ice cream whenever you want. That's the best. <laughs> Not a bad way to spend a Friday, huh? Best October I can't believe Croatia was our last country of this trip and it's finished now. This has been an incredible last day of our great European road trip. I haven't seen half of this country, so I'm really, really happy that I got to discover them with Jeff. We are so sad to return our beloved Roger. Roger. 23 amazing days, six incredible countries and over 3,100 kilometers. Now that is how you do a road trip. So if we can do all this, then so can you.